Hey, it's Ben's from lunchflows.com. One of the best parts of lunch flows is how simple it can be for accomplishing little tasks that make a big difference. One of them is to change the default layout of the WooCommerce checkout. Now, the reason this is useful is that oftentimes we want to have a one column layout and hide certain components. And rather than rebuilding the whole layout from pieces, it's sometimes easier just to push one checkbox or click one checkbox and get the job done. Let me show you what I mean. Here we're going to go into the demo site and I'm going to go into the launch flows admin dashboard uh, control panel for launch flows. There I've got a utility called force WooCommerce default layout into one column. Let's unselect that. And by doing so, we'll use the regular WooCommerce layout when we create a new launch flows page. I'm going to go ahead and create a new demo checkout. And in launch flows, that's as simple as just checking one box. So new demo checkout with launch flows in the Gutenberg. I go to page and I click the checkbox, add a checkout to this post. Now, the neat thing about that is we can then rearrange the pieces or hide the pieces if we want. But all of the pieces of a normal WooCommerce checkout are there for us to start with. Now, let's say I want to simplify this into the one column. I simply go back to the dashboard and choose the utility to force all of the launch flows checkouts into one column layout. When I refresh the page, I've now got this very elegant setup. And the reason this is powerful is watch what I can do now. I first of all can use my underlying page builder or theme to change the arrangement. Maybe I'll make this a narrower layout, which would be very suitable for people to read and view. Next, what if I want to hide different components? Maybe I want to hide the shipping fields. Well, I can do that two ways. First of all, I can use the WooCommerce Checkout Fields Editor to actually remove those. Or in most cases, if shipping isn't required, I can simply use this method in launch flows. I put in the product block or I put in the WooCommerce Checkout block that I want to remove. I can do this, by the way, with a Gutenberg block, a short code, or an Elementor widget. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and type, uh, let's say, shipping. And I'll put in the launch flow shipping fields. Then I simply go over here and I click on this block and I go advanced and I say LF hide. And if you're using the Elementor widget, you can simply slide the toggle. It's the same result. Now I'm able to essentially hide the shipping fields. I'm left with the billing details alone. What if I wanted to remove some of the billing details or let's be real realistic. Let's remove the coupon. It's as simple as just going here and doing the same operation. Coupon. And since I want to hide it, I'll say LF hide. And with just a couple clicks, I'm able to accomplish essentially a really clean layout with only the fields that I want. This can be further refined by again, using some other free plugins like the WooCommerce Checkout Fields uh, Manager. But right out of the box, LaunchFlows gets you control over the default layout. You've seen other videos and I welcome you to go to our documentation on how you can actually rearrange all of these pieces in a custom way. Just to give you a quick hint, you could go ahead and start with the pattern that's included. And by choosing launch flows, you can choose all of the blocks and put them into place and you could therefore mix and match them, drag them around and do whatever you like. I'll see you on the next video.